day, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is. Either way, welcome to my floor. I'm Luna, and I play games here sometimes. And I'm back to normal kind of schedule. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan now. Anyway, yay! Okay, just time to jump straight back into this. Ooh, there's a viewpoint. There's a viewpoint right here, and it has an otter. Look at this little cutie. Wait. Can I, like... I go closer to you. Will you run away? No. Left. No. It was too cute. Stay, you be my pet friend. I mean friend. I totally mean friend. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Tea. It's not even tea leaves. It, I'm I'm drinking genmaicha today. Which has, like, uh, pieces of puffed rice in it. One of those apparently fell out. Ooh. Very slimy. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's... I'm assuming we have to just go straight into the place. Into the city. Into the city. Mm. Ooh, look at that thing hanging. Ooh, I was almost impaled. That was almost in me. Oopsie. Hi, Desert. How are you doing? How are you? I am right here. Yes, indeed. I am streaming. Yeah, I did not have... Like, I got home Friday evening at like... Uh, no, uh, Monday evening at like 12. And then yesterday I was like, I'm gonna do stuff. And then I got up and I was like, you know what? I don't think I am. <laughs> I felt so weird yesterday. I figured out I probably had a fever, but I didn't realize it yesterday. No stuff doing. Brain no braining. Body no bodying. Nothing no nothing. Yeah, only sleepy. I, I think I like... I think I watched YouTube and played some... Animal Crossing. I think that was my day. I did nothing. Today I have done stuff. Today I am here. And hopefully today I'm gonna be here too. <laughs> How has your day been? And how are you doing? That's a good good day, yes. I just didn't feel good anyway. <laughs> Today I've just been studying. You, we made it. I'm supposed to meet some friends here, but... I don't see them anywhere. Maybe they're not here yet. Your day's been okay? At least that's okay. It'd be good if it'd been good, but some days... Okay is... More than okay. Ooh, you're gonna you you wrote OC lore for your next X Men OC. You're gonna have to send me an X your X Men OC things because th that sounds fun. And now I kind of want to do it too. <laughs> That's so it's so cute, but also why is it two D? That's... I... You're definitely gonna send it to me? Good, good. I look forward to it. <sighs> oh god, what voice do I give you? I'll open your eyes, slowpoke. Maybe you've been here the entire time. I haven't really lost track of how long you've kept us waiting. Listen here, you. It's not just Kinichi. Kinich and Mualani's time you're wasting, but mine too. Mine! Oh my god, what is this thing? Why are you 2D? What are you? I I totally read Pokemon just now. It says Paimon. It says Paimon, not Pokemon. It looks like a Pokemon character though, doesn't it? Oh, so this is in the wrong direction. Oopsie. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? That's a strange looking Saurian. Oh, wait. Is it even a Saurian? Take it down a notch, all right? You don't even know some of these people. Oh, he wasn't saying it take it down a notch to us. I, I just assumed he was, because people normally are like, okay, we're a lot. Which, to be fair, we are a lot. <laughs> so, makes sense. And just because Kachina's too nice to get mad at you, it doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. 
And what are you gonna do in the bad days? You think you're the boss of- Hey, what do you think you're doing? And we're blasting off again! <laughs> Uh, you have you haven't gotten to the part where they go through self discovery and being able to identify as non binary, but uh, you should be getting there after rewriting the event of the days, a future past movie to include your OC. Ooh, sounds sounds amazing. Kinich, good boy, yes. Yeah, Kinich should also be darker. But yeah, that that gave me like major. Team Rocket vibes. Like, we're blasting off again! Ooh. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, send it to me. I will happily read it all again. Alright, I put him in timeout for now. Sorry about that. Oh, such pretty eyes, though. Look at his eyes! I was like, I wish my eyes looked like that, and I'm not sad about my eyes. Like, I, I quite like my eyes, actually. Or like my eye color. Um, one of my friends described it as a pool. That my, 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 like a swimming pool. And yeah, I will take that as a compliment. They were basically how to from free, so yes. But, like, he has, like, a horizon in his... Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like a horizon. <laughs> you have to migrate to Google Talks. Don't, don't have space on your drive. Yeah. I, I get that. I also have issues with that sometimes. Uh, but yes, hope you get him, too. Sorry about that. Yep. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Ajot doesn't just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. No Alani. <laughs> he got what he would deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. <laughs> no Alani, there you are. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Is that a backpack? Is it a backpack? Wait. I I need to check now. It might be a backpack. Oh my god, it is a backpack. It is cute. Hello, Pylon's Pylon. Lo I'm Luan, a traveler. I'm here to win it. This is Pymon. Nice to meet you all. That's <laughs> 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 so funny. I think we can see it in the corner. Can you see it from the... Oh, my moon is covering it, sorry. Uh, this is too funny. I, just not introducing myself, I'm going with that. Oh, and um, this is Luan. Honestly, could you at least introduce yourself a little, you know? Yes. Just... No, just you. I'm, I'm an unimportant. I am here to make you shine. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Oh, um, they want to join teams with a better chance of winning. So you're saying you've been ditched again? <sighs> that might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strange sooner or later. You should you should definitely send me your team the tennis OCs too. Yes, definitely. Yeah, well, I couldn't even promise them we could make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually depends on the ancient name bearer, after all. Their docu document is done? Ooh. Hey now, there's not a single person here that can promise their vi team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. That's what, that's the way to support your friends. Finally. You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? The former battle is a 
The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. The, the Latin. It's a real war? Are we sure about that? A war against our eternal enemy, the Abyss. Ah. I see. Okay. Maybe. The Abyss. So, they're here too? Well, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Warden Wars. It's hard to say. The pilgrimage shows us the strongest warriors among the tribes, and those warriors fight to repel the abbess in defense of our homeland. <laughs> Reading sometimes hard. <sighs> okay. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales and passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in Natlan. Words hard. Um, I also side tangents, but Monday I did my uh, dis 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 dyslexia <laughs> assessment, and I scored very well on certain things. But she like ended the thing with saying like, "Well, I have to like like look through everything and stuff," but. You probably have this look too. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> Apparently, I guess a lot of what I read is <laughs> like, I because I see the context. I know what, like, I guess what the word is. And I was like, ah, I see. That's why I read incorrectly a lot of times when it's like this. And I'm like, I don't know what the context is. And sometimes, and like, what is this word? I got to read like words that weren't words. Um, and oh my god, that was so hard. It is literally like when I'm trying to like Mualani. Ni. Yeah, and I like switch the letters around, so I have to like really concentrate to <laughs> to read properly. <laughs> um, I start saying things before I read them. Maybe I start thinking things before I read them. Uh, but yeah, no. Um. I mean, I, I probably have some, like, traits from ADHD because I can't shut my brain off. off. But I'm also... I, I, I would not say I have most of it because I don't have most of the, the difficulties that come with that. And I'm not gonna pretend I do. My brother and my... No, my father and my sister definitely have ADHD. My sister has been tested. And then our father... <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's a spectrum, yeah. And I probably have some of the little, like, aspects of it. But I... I no, not, not to an extent where it's actually... Matters. But yeah, I, I think... Part of the issue is that I don't... Like, you know how some people... Some people think in words. Some people think in pictures. Some people think in understanding. I don't naturally speak, think in words. I've kind of taught myself to do that. And so it's hard for me to, like... Words aren't, like, the natural thing for me. Um... You think you think in words. You probably do that. And some people like have a mixture of things. I think I have the understanding and um, pictures naturally. And then sometimes when I read stuff that I think are uninteresting for school, I will have the words, a random picture in my head, and understanding of something else at the same time. And those times I'm like, okay, this is slightly ADHD. But that's also not an everyday thing, so that's just when I'm very tired or very bored of what I'm reading because sometimes we have to read such boring things and I'm like, I need to force myself to read this so I do but also, I don't really want to think about it uh, I had a little bit of that today but it was also just like oh, I'll get through this Um, it was just, uh, my entire day today has been just reading, 
That's why. I have done nothing but read for hours. Um. Their names and deeds have been recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in that land. Uh, but yeah, so new words, apparently, if I don't know how to read them, if I haven't read a word before, I, 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 I really need to like read through it several times. It doesn't, it doesn't just, yeah, uh, come naturally. Isn't it dangerous though? Yes, but that's the nature of war. Danger comes with the territory. Resisting the abyss is our duty, but we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows us... <coughs> which allows for our safe return. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection, which does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Resurrect people? Yep. So it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's blessing gives us the courage to keep moving forward. So you go to war, but there's also no consequences. That's what I'm hearing here? That seems like a very bad combination. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Wait, what about you, Katina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. War with no consequences, yeah. Uh, there's no threshold to the numbers of participants. With the sheer numbers of teams, it's pr practically guaranteed chaos. There are always consequences, yeah. Yeah, like, I, I feel like having the... yeah... The, the death not be permanent opens up so many other consequences that aren't death. And like the way people treat each other and stuff in it, yeah. No matter how strong or experienced a warrior, victory is never assured. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone to watch your back. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? I knew we were gonna be able to join. There was no way we weren't. Odds are, the answer will be no. So if that doesn't work, uh, well, I only have a few teammates this time. If someone else could take them, then... It's pretty much the entirety of Wolverine's backstory. That is true. See, not a good thing. You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? Oh, look at you, mind reader. So, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically... Yeah. It would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. <laughs> I love his eyes, though. They're so cool. Wolverine, my poor poop. Pookie Kitty Bear. That is not a sentence I thought I would say. <laughs> Kimchi is so cute. I mean, he looks like a small little boy, yes. Like, please, someone protect him, kinda. You're <laughs> Wolverine Simple, I noticed! Fine by me, but that doesn't. Doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying solo. Besides, we're a formidable duo. You have, you have been since you watched X-Men Origins? I mean, to be fair, I've been a, a Wolverine fan for a long time. But I'm not a simp. <laughs> for him, specifically. Like, teach their own, but... Just me, specifically. Uh, he is one of my favorite characters, though. Uh, formidable duo. I bet our new friends here will agree that two always... that... Mm. <laughs> uh, that two is always better than one, right? Are you talking about... Uh, are you talking about Wolverine being pretty, or... Not Lanchal. Oh, you mean us? Things are definitely less lonely with a pion around. 
<laughs> Wolverine, yeah. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fair. You're right. Two is definitely better than one. It's just like the old saying we have here in Athlan. No one fights alone. No one should fight alone. <laughs> kin kin Kinich is also... I want to say Kimchi. Kimchi. My nickname for him now is now Kimchi. Anyway. Uh, is very pretty, but right now you're in a X-Men bra brain rot. I'm just gonna start calling him Kimchi. It's not with thing. <laughs> this, I think, is the the dyslexia. I guess, yeah, like, if I move it around. Yes. Um, kimchi, for now. <laughs> and then I will look up actual pronunciation guides and stuff. But, yeah, kimchi. <laughs> Definitely dys dyslexia, yeah. <laughs> That, what if I drag you down? Listen to yourself. You'd be hard pressed to find someone in Nathlan who can beat us when we're together. <laughs> Hearing you say that does make me feel a little more confident. You haven't seen any pronunciation guides for Nathlan yet? Oh, too bad. I mean, I will look as well, but maybe one day. Still, teams rarely contain more than one ancient name bearer. People are definitely gonna think of us as cowards. <clears throat> the rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? I'm with her. If you are friends, fight together. I'm all for it. Help your friends. Heck yeah. It's not like they left us any other option. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. Chris, hello, welcome back. How are you? And you, <laughs> shush. Ah, uh, Chris, anyway. <laughs> Let's go back to kimchi. Um, not good with that stuff. Oh, I know. They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Tezuk. No. Oosh. No. You guys too, though. Just give me a second, guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. Teleportation waypoint! No. No! You guys! No. No. No, no. No, no. We do not talk. I don't. I won't allow you to talk down to, to yourselves. Which seems backward, but no. <laughs> I will be a hypocrite in this case. <laughs> you know, you're pretty good. You should have confidence. Uh, what was I thinking of? That's what I was thinking of. I was gonna do that. So you hear the music a bit. You're not pretty? You're hot? Yes, Chris. Heck yeah. Go for it. I approve this message. Um, this is the place. Let's wait for Moalani here. Who says you need to have a... a IRL boyfriend, partner, whatever, to have confidence. Be confident in yourself. Then they, 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 there will be boys falling over you for you anyway. If you're confident enough. <laughs> uh, this is the place. Oh, yeah. You're not spe just being lonely. Have you been simping too hard for Wolverine? <laughs> Um, did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh, yeah! There were flags, weren't there? There were all sorts of symbols on them. <laughs> you have been symbol for too hard for Wolverine? Yes. Those are our tri tribal fra flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natlan, including the children of Echos. 
more the southern tour guide routine. <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natlan. Oh, we got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Uh, fair enough. Well, I'm from the science of the canopy. We live high in the mountains and have close ties to the... Help. Yum... Kazors. Yum Kazors. Do they eat eat yummy things? Is that it? Yeah, <laughs> like yum Kazors. I think it might be yum Kazors. Uh. My friend Moalani belongs to the people of the springs. A seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. Yum Kazor. Yum Kazor. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the mas Masters of the Night Wind. I want to be in that one, that sounds cool ass. And the Collective of Plenty. I'm gonna do the thing again. Hiding. We're doing this in for a while. <laughs> I am, I am, um... Uh, emuing. That's not the word. I am being a... I'm putting my hand in the sand. Head in the sand. <laughs> Both of you. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. I can't read very well through my hair. <laughs> Ostrich. Ostrich living the time. Yes, exactly. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in front of our chief and welcome you on behalf. Stand in for our chief. Okay. This is not working. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go with the bit, and then I was like, no, wait, I'm not reading. <laughs> I'm having trouble reading anyway, and the hair does not help. <laughs> Standing for our chief and welcoming you on behalf of the people of the springs. Malani, you're back. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Everything's settled on my end. My teammates look, took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kimchi. Kimchi. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor. And they recognize that. Anyways, thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's go register. Let us join! We want to join too! We want to be the special exceptions, because we always are in this game. Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only people from Nathlan are eligible, eligible to participate. Blech. You can make an exception just this once. This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate, and I'm sure the audience would be in interested in seeing what he can do. It's not that simple, Miss M Mualani. Even a single exception such a sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. Her pupils, her pupils are fish. Wait, wait. I need to check this. Give me a moment. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect con contending fire from the battles. <coughs> You're a fish, Chris? And uh, go ahead. Hi. Hi, fish, and also, yes, a uh, joke. A fish. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. I like that one. I think I've done that one myself at some point. It's so. It's just like it sounds so fun somehow. Um. That is, that is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlin is only safe from the invasion of this abyss while the sacred flame, blur, blurns, blurns, burns the channel. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. 
Exactly right, Mr. Kimchi. Contending, fi contending fire can only be produced in battle between people of Natlan. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could, in turn, jeopardize the sacred flame. <laughs> so it all comes down to the contending fire. It's fine. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. <clears throat> that would be great. Towards like us better are better situ situated to be spectators anyway. Still, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. If the Odor Resurrection exists, why do you have to go through the process of selecting warriors? You read Paimon's mind, Juan. Why does everyone just... Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of res resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. That's also why ordinary people who emer emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the abyss. You, you wanted the Kasua sword, but you ended up getting your four five star catalyst? Moalanis. I mean, I'm sad you didn't get what you want, Chris, but at least it, it, it has a very cool design, I feel like. Or a very cute one. Um, So that's good, at least, but still, I wish you would have gotten the one you got you wanted. <clears throat> it's for your own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph for the abyss in battle. Oh yeah, you do get the sword guaranteed now. That's true. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. Just one word. Victory! Vic victory? You don't have enough pulls. Oh no! I'm sorry. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. And you don't believe in earlies? Yeah, they don't happen that often, do they? <clears throat> Only those who triumph over their abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. The Tales of the Vanquished Vanquish. Oh my god, it makes me think of a song. Anyway, are ev eventually forgotten, and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearer are long lost. But why would the victors need to be revived? Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? <clears throat> you have to think about it at the team level. For example, Five, represented, five representatives will stand to repel the abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return victorious. Oh yeah, they are fish! They are fish! Oh my god. Amazing. Because every victory is, built, is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams, to instill in us the importance of working together. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. Mm, it sounds, still sounds pretty dangerous. Well, that axiom is meant to be a... A warning as much as a source of inspiration. Oh my god, it's like little... What are those called in, like, the US? Like, goldfish, is that it? They... The... The little... The, yeah. Those, like, fish cracker thingies. I feel like they have those shapes. Yeah. They're called goldfish, right? I feel like that's that's her eyes. She has get, uh, goldfish eyes. Danger is always present, but together we can move forward. United in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Nutland as well as our Ar Arkham. 
They are called goldfish? Yay. I right, thank you. I was like, I think they are, but <laughs> you can never be sure. Not to mention, the abyss isn't the enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. Scheming? I've actually fallen in battle myself. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Moyobe. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. The realm of the Moyobe? Does that mean the Moyobe exists somewhere in that one? Hard to say. The realm is not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyob. Are we going to be able to do that? We call this realm the Night Kingdom, a mysterious liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. Is the worst thing? Do you not want your friend back? Oh my god, it's so weird. What are you? What are you? I have so many questions. What is Aja a a Ajax? That's a cleaning supply, isn't it? A jaw? No. <laughs> I forgot the name immediately. <laughs> then releasing you from your timeout has got has got to come in at a close second. A jaw. A jaw. Thank you. Ah, you do well to speak with re reverence of the Almighty Dragon Lord. K Kuhul. Kuhul Lest you live to regret it. <laughs> You're not following the story at all? That's fine. I apparently... I feel like we haven't gotten to find out anything about this person yet. It, it, it sounds like it's saying it's a dragon, but I... Yeah. They're, they're all spoilers to you? Yeah. Then... then. Don't pay attention, it's all good. If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. It all went fairly quickly. Considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. In the meantime, you all can go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house. Catch the upper Arkan! Family, friends included. Which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go. Have some fun. Where do we have to? I'm surprised we're not gonna join. Maybe something happens. I can't go through here. Why not? I feel like I should have been. Ow, ow, ow. It does just look like it says Awawa. Awawa. Awawa, Awawa. Ooh. We're inside. That seems like a food place. Can I get. Chanka. Uh, can I get recipes? I can. Cup of grain fruit. Is it just a cup of fruit? Grain fruit meat soup. That's kind of fun to say. Grain soup meat. Grain fruit meat soup. Grain fruit meat soup. Grain fruit meat soup. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> just like grain soup. Meat soup. Grain fruit meat soup. <laughs> okay, where are we? Sounds like a tongue twister? Maybe. <laughs> Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. These dish dishes are all local specialties. There's more where the this came from, too, so don't be shy. Let's feast until Bill gives the Arkin a heart attack. Heart attack. Don't be dramatic. The Pyron Ar Arkan is very de generous, even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Speaking of trouble, I've locked Aja away for now, so you don't have to worry about him being a nuisance. I worry about him being. Not a nuisance, just being. What is he? How is he? How did he get like that? Wait, isn't that a little harsh? 
<laughs> Kimchi and uh, Aja are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companions. So he's a Saurian. Good to know. Hmm. What's got you all not down in the dumps, Kachina? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. I mean, she's a kid. Understandably so. I can't just... I can't keep using my age as an excuse. I have to get stronger. I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. That's also a tongue twister. Night Warden Wars. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know your own heart, so stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. I like her. If they don't think you deserve to, to bear your ancient name, they can take it up with the Wayob. Trust me, Kachina, the Wayob see something special in you. I just hope it's not the fact that I can take a few punches. I'm guessing the pilgrimage hasn't gone too well in the past. Yeah, I'm on the 7th or 8th pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but still, no wins. Oh, I love her mittens. She has, like, giant mittens, and I'm like, it should be too hot for that, but maybe it's to make sure she doesn't, like, hit. Or, like, doesn't get burned when she, she picks up stuff, but I don't know. To be honest, losing seven eight, eight times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith in yourself, will you? You got me on your team. Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. You're running into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. I love this friendship! Oh my god! This is so sweet. Please don't don't break this. <laughs> now I'm getting worried something's gonna happen. Uh -huh. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what my hair is doing, but it's it doesn't seem to want to make sense. Face them together, like you should. I know you've never, never tasted a victory, but trust me, don't you, you trust me, don't you? Lunalani, you're the best. I trust you, I definitely do. And you're right, I gotta pull myself together. Still don't know why the Wayob chose me to inherit an ancient name, but I can't be the only bearer who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. And also... Maybe you can be an inspiration for others who feel that way. Not to mention the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise it would have been lost to us by now, shattered by defeat in battle. That's right, and you'll have us rooting for you too. Just call us cheerleaders 1 and 2. No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one I was to learn from you. Still, thanks you guys. Gee, now I'm crying again. Everyone's been so nice to me today. Oh, She's so small! I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to a waste. Alright, oh, I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. Nice to see your game face back, Katina. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she still has a lot to learn, so it isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Don't worry, we've seen how kind and hard hardworking she is. We can already tell she's a wonderful person. Oh no, she's crying! Oh baby, I want to give her a hug! Don't cry! Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll pour you some drinks. I brought the homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. Yeah, uh, baby. Baby. I want to hug the baby. Take care of the baby. 
I'm like, I'm a little bit concerned that she needs to be a participate, honestly. And that she's participated eight times. But yeah, a kimchi. Wow. Oh yeah. She even travels with homemade juice? <laughs> Kajina's backpack is practically bottom a bottomless pit. She has a bag of holding. Um, it's got everything. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Mm, seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know. She's already so talented. She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that confidence. Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh, no, no. I was just born confidence. <laughs> Ma'am, please. Uh, that's funny, though. Moalan is being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of the Night Warden and Moors. Came out on top each time, and she's never had to be resurrected. Damn, she's strong. Wow, that's amazing. It's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. No, wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far. But I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause... That one gets it. That's how Paimon and Luan are too. Fighting side by side? Yeah, I guess. Hey, a little more confidence, please. Paimon's always there to cheer you on. Yeah, but you don't do a lot of fighting. The drinks are here. Better try them while they're still fresh. Feeling better now, Katina? Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, I promise. And that was just nerves earlier. I'm gonna get some meat in my system and then head out to get some exercise. Wanna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. You also wanna be nice and rested. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We got an early day tomorrow. <laughs> if only we had a friend who never oversleeps. Alright, fine. I'll make sure you guys are up on time. I I kind of love this friendship tri trio. They're really cute together. Atta boy, I knew I could you'd catch on. Saying atta boy sounds really strange to me. Uh, so full. Oh, so sleepy. We should get a good night's sleep before the competition tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm a little worried about. <laughs> Maybe we can help her out with training. There's a chest. Treasure! She didn't say what she wanted to learn from us. I don't think that Mom's gonna be doing much of the training. No, you're not. I'm stuck on a chest. <laughs> Let go of me. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Okay, so where are we actually going? Maybe I should check that as well. Oh, outside. Okay. Ah, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, we'll do this one. Hi, friend. They're so cute. Hi. Can you become my friend? Hello, cutie. Hi. Oh my god, I want the pet. This is where I'm... Oh, wait. Look for Kachina and Moalani optional. We've never had optional quests before, have we? But yes, I will absolutely do the optional quest. I I love all the animals. Dragons, I guess. Saurians. They're basically Pokemon. Oh, 
No quest is optional. Hajima! Oh, it's you two. I just finished train is training with Moalani. What's up? No quest is, op is optional. All quests. Do all the quests. Well, you worked so hard to introduce us to Nutlam. We wanted to return the favor. I thought I could share some experience with you. Check your foodiness circlet, please, and rate it. Ooh, we'll do after this cutscene then. Oh, you guys are exactly like Achina has described. No wonder she's already your biggest fan. I guess I could make myself scarce though. Kachina was the only one who was the one who helped you out all day. So I don't want to intrude on your secret teachings. It's just a simple piece of advice, actually. Huh? What do you mean? Observation is also key. Study your opponent, master their habits. Let wisdom becoming other a weapon in your arsenal. Yeah, the person who hits the hardest isn't always the one who wins. Oh, I I think I get it. You're saying fight smarter, not harder? Having the strength to win is just as important as knowing the right strategy? girl, Kachina. Exploit your opponent's weakness while maximizing your own strengths, and you're sure to find opportunities to opportunities to turn the tides in your favor. You're right, I just need to focus. When I get nervous, I forget to assess the situation. Asses. I forget to asses. <laughs> That's what I was about to say, you know, like asses. Um, and end up rushing in without a plan. Mind sticking around a little longer, Moanani? I want to try out some new moves. Sure. Thanks for taking the time to teach me, you two. I won't let you down. Just give it your best shot. Yeah, don't add so much pressure. It's all good. Okay, where are you at? No, wait, you're on the... Wait. Am I? There you are. Yeah. Check information. Nope. On Fudina. There. You doing okay there? My computer? Very slow. Uh, which one is the circlet? Is that this one? Forty six percent. Wait, crit, crit damage, attack, crit rate, and HP. Damn. And forty six percent plus HP. Crit damage and crit rate. I... That's a good one. I mean... 36%... Yeah, yeah, I give it A+. Because this is the... Yeah, they circle it along us. That is... How? How did you get that? How how long were you grinding to get that? I'm very happy that you got it though. That is a very nice piece. I forgot what time we were supposed to be until... Let's go here. <laughs> like, both crit rate, crit damage, and just attack. And then that much HP for Furina. Ah. My goodness. Oh. I went too far. Oopsie. Oh well. It's fine. In the world, just sitting here waiting for time to pass. Waiting for the flowers to bloom. For the ice to melt. That's not where I want to go. Mifa's globe. A, a goblet. I read globe, so I'm... That wasn't what you wrote, either. We... 
we we covered this earlier, but um, yeah, they the the they they think I have dyslexia. <laughs> Goblet, but gobble gobble heck yeah. We can gobble. We should gobble more in, as a society. Uh, goblets. Forty-six percent attack. Crit rate plus six percent. Crit damage fourteen. HP and defense. That's... That sounds. Yeah, that is sounds. That is also good, but. Ooh, forty-six percent electro damage bonus. Damn. Energy recharge, 10% elemental mastery, 19. Crit damage and crit rate. That is such a good one. It has like all the things. That's like a perfect one. What the heck? How? I mean, I'm like, I'm amazed. So yeah, that's... Uh... Is there something over A+, plus? no. It's S tier. <laughs> it is now S tier instead. <laughs> because that's- oh my god. That is such a good one and it's like so fitting. Morning, Luan. Morning, Paimon. Looks like everyone's right on time. <laughs> good to see that no one overslept. I have to put out so much energy with this girl. That's the one who's... <laughs> who only made it because I was there to get you. I just not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't, don't do well today, we know who to blame, don't we? See how your friends talk to me, Kimchi. Kimchi. A joy is so silly, yeah. I help you wake them up and make sure everyone's on time. And do I get a thank you, Aja? No, I get told off. Shineless Ajax? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But isn't Ajax also like a... A cleaning supply? <laughs> I am saying the wrong thing either way, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cleaning supply. Well, then he's right, though. I'll bless every last one of you. Ajax is a cleaning supply. <laughs> Yep, yep. And um, child cleans up messes, I guess. All right, moving on. Uh, how did you sleep like last night, Katina? I had some nur I have to nurse at first, but my bed was great. I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. That's good to hear. Maybe you handle stress better than you know. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? A little. Didn't want to overdo it. But like... Okay, wait. Now I need to check. Because I'm fairly certain Ajax is a cleaning supply, at least in Sweden. <laughs> like, have I dreamt this? Or is this just dyslexia playing... playing... games with my mind? Um... Uh, oh no, we were so busy focusing on the tournament, we forgot to buy something! What were we supposed to buy? I thought that might happen. Here, I bought you some. Thanks. Yeah! Wait, give me a moment. I wonder if this is gonna show up. Oh my god, my phone is so slow. <clears throat> no thanks necessary, I'll treat you to something even better once... Attention, everyone. Okay, wait. This. I know it's like mirrored at the moment, but the, 
like, it is a cleaning supply named Ajax in Sweden. I, I'm not just, I'm not just, like, made this up. Uh, th this is actually a thing. I don't know if it's a international either, but yeah. Attention everyone, the tournament is about to begin. All contestants proceed to the venue. I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue. Oh, you think it's a European thing? It might be. Would make sense. Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue. The opening ceremony is where what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. Oh wait, you, sh you should be able to see Katina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Yeah, I feel like in Europe in general, they have a lot of... We have a lot of, like, similar things. Um... Uh, like, companies and stuff, so... A lot of products are the same. No worry, Pine is gonna cheer, cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium. Yep. Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep an ear out. Well, we get should get going. See you later. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god, it's like the attention, everyone. The tournament is about to begin. All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Oh, that's our cue. Wow, we've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Immediately. We want seats. Entering the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. Oh, it's gonna be timely. A long one. We'll see how long I, I'm able to... How long I have to stay on for. I was gonna do an hour more, but it might end up being longer. During the pilgrimage of the Return of Sacred Flame, certain systems and functions will be unavailable, but will be restored once the competition ends. To ensure you have the best experience, it is recommended that you experience the next part of the story when you have ample time to complete it. We'll see if I need a toilet break in the middle. Yes. Enter it. I want to know what happens. I want to be where the people fight. I want to see, want to see them battling. I don't know. I read that as balsam to begin with, and that's conditioner in Swedish. The pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame is a competition with a long, storied history. Countless hopefuls have gathered here today, each vying for the same price. The right to serve their homeland in the Night Warden Wars. You need a new- <laughs> you need a full cover now. Hey, maybe I'll make a- uh, uh, like a- Parody coverage channel at some point. Don't- don't wait for it, but maybe. <laughs> Before we begin, allow me to remind everyone of the rules. Today's tournament begins with the team stage. Before advancing into individu individual competitions. <laughs> Hell yeah? Uh, maybe. Who knows. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> You've written a parody if I want to sing it? I mean, send it to me? But I have no actual... Like, I don't actually know how to sing. I just kind of do something. I have fun with it, but it's not its not like I've actually ever taken singing. Each team, team will board a hot air balloon, which will land at a random location. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so like you can send it to me, but I, I can't promise I can actually do anything with it. Uh, that being said, I mean, it'd be fun to see. Random location, okay. Contestants must search for the fire towers within the content grounds. Contest ground. <laughs> Contest grounds. Accumulate a contending fire through combat and bring a sufficient amount back to the stadium. 
You wrote it back in middle school, school with some friends? Don't know if you have the file, but you still remember the words? Heck yeah, those are the best. I love those things. Me and some friends did that too. It's of a Swedish song though, so it wouldn't really make any sense. Okay, I like this art style though. Uh, defeat in combat, departure from the contest grounds and running out of time all lead to elimination. Only the strongest teams will be able to withstand the onslaught of battle and re return to the arena, blazing fire in hand. Woo! Cool! Only those who emerge triumphant in the team stage earn the right to take part in the individual battles. The outcome of the these one-on-one -on -one matches not only affects the contestants' individual scores, but also determines their next opponent. Eh. This is not... Like, the, 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 the color contrast is not very good. After many rounds of battle, the contestants with the top 5 rankings will get the chance to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Now, let us welcome our Arkan as she delivers the opening address. Cool! Ah! She shows up in a fire tornado! Hello! You are badass. Your hair is fire. Skill, strategy, fortune, form. Men oh, skill, strategy, fortune, form. Many factors influence strength, but victory never lies. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. Today marks the beginning of yet another legendary saga. One written in the triumphs of the victors. So without further ado, let the games begin. So that's the Paimon Arkan. Is it just Paimon or does she seem kind of intimidating? She looks like a biker and I'm here for it. Tachina said she was friendly and welcoming, but uh, how did she come to that conclusion? I want to talk to her. Yeah, but it would be kind of rude to bother her during the pilgrimage, don't you think? Probably. We should wait for a better time. Oh, look! It's Kachina and the others! Well, for folks, it's clear that... Uh, it's clear the contestants are already raring to go. The teams will now board their hot air balloons and make their way to the competing competition grounds. Chaska! Chaska! Go! Chaska, you can do it. Zakatula? I'm guessing this is Chaska. Kick their butts, it's not. It's not. Go, Mulani, go. You can do it, Katina. So cute. And the crowd goes wild. The hot air balloons are about to ascend. Uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Contestants, prepare yourselves to take flight. Remember the rules. The balloons will take you to random locations, and your battle starts the moment you land. Best your competition. Collect sacred flame fires and bring it back to the stadium. Your hair is fire, and it's awesome. Good luck, everyone. Do we get to play as them, or like? What happens? Guess this is where we're starting. Let me see. Seems pretty quiet around here. Looks like we get to we get to ease ourselves into combat today. I, I suppose we do. Let's head that way. We don't need to worry about avoiding other teams. Anyone that crosses our path can kiss their chances goodbye. Okay, I follow your lead. I need to swallow the, the snack. Just remember, don't hesitate. The team matches are all about to, all about keeping the energy up. So let's do it. Let's do it. I guess we do get to play as them. Ah, cool.
Collect contending sparks. Where though? Oh, a fire tower and an unoccupied one. I don't know what it said after that. Doors of resurrection completed. That looks like a trap. These unstable crystals are created when phlogiston is uh, converted to solid state. They will explode if someone gets close to them, or if they are, are attacked. Some of these crystals are hidden deep underground, and only the children of Echoes and the ground burying Tepliosaurus can sense their located locations. Alright, let's finish this fast! <laughs> well, this was new. Let's ground him up. I love just jumping like this. Bye. Grab the fire. We got some fire! How do I get back the thing though? <laughs> Over there. Someone's taking out six competitors in a row? Please climb. There we go. Sand Dagger of Say Hut. Get the other fire. I'm sorry, my dude. You seem entirely knocked out. Ooh. Okay. I need to go over there and through that one. Come on! Put up a good show me your courage! Let's finish this next time. Uh, did they? Was that really all they did? I'm sorry, I haven't really figured entirely figured out how to do stuff yet. Yeah. Should I? I entirely figured out how to use these characters. Giving me enough of this and jump. Come and empty. on, show me your We're too late. Do we actually need to do this? Why does this combat music sound like a salsa class or tango class? Class? It kind of does, yeah. 
It really does sound like that, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> Someone's trying to attack us. Do we need to? Apparently. Out of the way, or get blown away! That's kind of a funny... Fight the Capybara King? I don't know. There's a Capybara boss who can one shot your characters. Oh my god. I guess we'll see. I don't know how good I'll be at that, but it could be a nice challenge. See how it goes. I don't know where I am. Have you been stuck behind here this entire time, you, my dude? I don't know where I am. I don't entirely know this what's happening. New. Camera, please. We have collected enough sacred flames. Are you still doing your right? Yeah, all good. Come on, let's head back to the stadium. Time's almost up. Watch this. <laughs> I guess I'll just avoid people then. When in Night Soul's Blessing, Madonna can ride spirit waves using her mental skill to enter Night Soul Blessings. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh my god, this is so fun! Look at this! Do I need to stare? Ooh, maybe I can though. I don't think I need to necessarily. This is this is fun though. Heck yeah, we are on the ra Rainbow Road, or uh, on the one for yeah As Asgard's Rainbow Bridge, not road. Thank you. From um uh, uh, by a. Uh, Stars, can we? Ooh, look at that! That's pretty. Um, um, I should know what it's called. Norse mythology. I should know this. And apparently, I don't. <laughs> this is fun, though. Let's keep riding. We're here. Oh my god. 
It's weird to see your own characters in the background. You forgot as well. Oh my god, what is it called though? The... I have it like on the tip of my tongue. Congratulations, Moalani. Congla congratulations, Kachina. You've successfully cleared the team stage. Uh, it's not a rose. That's also, I think, they're calling it, but no. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Keep it up, Moalani. Kachina, Moalani. Woo! Kachina, Moalani. Kachina, Moalani. I am not good at shouting. You two can, can take a short break while the team stage comes so close. We'll draw names to determine the individual matchups in a moment. After that, we'll proceed to the next stage of the competition. I wish you both the best. You two are assigned to different lounge, lounge areas. If you follow me, please catch it. Catch you now. Solo battles next. And I was three wins short last time. I've got to do better. Ugh, just calm down, Katina. You're in good form. You can do this. You can do this. Hold it right there. This is the contestant lounge. Unauthorized access is prohibited. We're contestants too. Let us through. According to my list, you're not among the individual match contenders, nor are you related to any of the remaining candidates. Well, we all, we'd still be candidates if it wasn't just based on strength. We only lost because two other contestants snuck up on us while like cowards. If you could just go contact the referee, we'll wait here, right here for you two. Ugh. Wait, wait, you two are... Well, look who we have here. Oh my god, these two are not nice. Remember us? Your little trick got, got us disqualified. Since we've cross cross <laughs> sorry, since we've crossed paths again, let's settle this once and for all. We'll see who's truly deserved to advance in next stage. Fight us! Right now? Yeah, like you two are the only ones who can't, like, lose anything from that because she still has to compete. You guys are not on that. Where did his shirt go? Wait, where did his sh where did whose shirt go? Don't mind him, Katina. Tournament rules place you under no obligation to honor that request. A loss is a loss, and that's final. You don't just stand there. Get security over here now. He. Yeah, he's really just wearing a top thing, isn't he? Like, what is that? It's barely... Can barely even con be considered a shirt. Uh, forget the rules. Isn't the pilgrimage about picking the strongest warriors? She just happened to catch us off guard. It was all luck. Exactly. Now's our chance to duke it out fair and square. Yeah, because two people against one is fair and square. It's just wearing shoulders. Katina! I'm happy to oblige. Who are you? Luan, Paimon, what are you doing here? He is just wearing sh shoulders. It's like he, he chose only shoulder pads and then nothing else. What a weird burn he must get. Like, his tan lines must be insane. We just came to have a chat and then all of a sudden these guys were threatening you. Hmm, not bullying Kachina on our watch. But thanks, you guys. I don't know your names, but if you really want to face me, I'll allow it. It has to wait until after the tournament, though. I need to focus on the upcoming matches. I don't want to let my parents down, or any of the friends who helped me get this far. He's so white, too, he is. He's like... He's as white as I am, honestly. Right now, we are the same color. Like, wait... We are actually the same color, which is... I didn't think that was possible. 
Uh, that's enough, you two. Being caught off guard is not an excuse. You think you can cry, cry foul play when you face the abyss? <laughs> my my headphones are running out of battery. Oopsie. If this behavior persists, you will find yourself barred from future competitions. If I need to, I will plug in my big ones. He looks so European with the green eyes and ginger hair. That's true. He does. He looks like he should be from Mondo. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, because that's mature. Are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No, thanks to you. To be honest, I totally blanked out just now. I had no idea what to do. It's alright, just relax. Focus on your upcoming matches. Right. I'll show them what I'm made of. That sounds more like it. You can do it. I heard there was trouble. Has the situation been resolved? Hmm. Yes, it was nothing out of the ordinary. A couple of stone losers coming to stir up trouble with the contestants. <sighs> Some people are so obsessed with glory they can't even bear the idea of failure. I hope you don't let them get to you, Kachina. Because you'll need to get ready. Your match is, match is up soon. That uh, came up quick. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, I guess I'm off. You can do it. You can do it. It is kind of fun that we get to bulletin board. We actually get to play as them. The competition announcement board. The upcoming match schedule and contestant scores are displayed here. My next opponent is new to the pilgrimage, but they still seem really strong. Is is it really possible for me to come out on top? Yes! You can do it! I believe in you. Then have another snack. So I'm gonna have to fight. Nkunga. You must be Kachino. Kind of a cool outfit though. He also only has one arm. Only one sleeve. You know, people told me I got lucky in the draw, but I beg to differ. You know con coincidences in the arena. If you're standing here, it means you're strong, no matter what anyone says. Oh, he's a good sport. I like him. This is how you're supposed to be to people who you compete with. Respect. Why does the... NPC look cooler than kimchi? Kind of does. I'm looking forward to seeing what, you, you, what you're made of. The team stage ended before I had my fill of battle. I hope you don't disappoint. Like, he does seem like he would be a, a... Like, an enemy, but... Yeah. Well, anything you want to say in return? Uh, I won't lose to you. Not when so many people are supporting me. And cheering for me. And I... I really want to earn a spot in the Night Warden Wars. All right, then our contestants have each said their piece. To your places, everyone, and begin. Do I actually fight you? I do. I love this. It's so fun. This is like my favorite thing. And he's brave dancing, which is also fun. Ooh. Boing boing Beyblade. Do you know there is a Beyblade like that? Uh, it's in the third season, so... Uh, uh, Beyblade G Revolution. And then it is Kenny, and he has uh, springs on, on its... Yes. Anyway. Yeah, you knew? Okay, great. Because every time I see it, I'm like, yes, it is. It is Kenny's Beyblade. I love it. 
Yeah, it, it, it's Kenny. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't remember the name of the actual Beyblade, but yeah. Because I think he named it, but I can't remember. <laughs> I actually lost. <laughs> I knew I had an eye for the good ones. I guess that means I was right about you all along. He had, he had really fun, like... Uh, Frog-themed uh, attacks as well. Congratulations to Kachina for taking the win. Let's give her a round of applause, everyone. Now, diving into the other matchups. That's one down. Woohoo! Oh my god, the horns. It's giving Valhalla, honestly. <gasps> Heck yeah! Oh. You can do it! You can do it! Surprisingly little people. In the... In the stands. Mm. Do I get to fight you too? Where'd you come from, kid? Think you've got what it takes to go to war? Hate to break it to you, but it won't be easy to get through me. And you are? You don't recognize me? Ha, <laughs> figures. Our generation's been in decline ever since Astia and the others retired from the front lines. Who are they and who are you? Lili U. Lili U. Frost Star of. something. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt it at the, this moment. Either way, once we face off, you won't forget my name anytime soon. Let's do this. Ooh, she's barely taking any damage. Missed your chance. Ooh, where are you now? To be fair, I'm barely taking any damage either, so... to interrupt. I... what? How am I supposed to do that? Oh right, I can ride up walls. I forgot. I forgot I could do this. Get some more of this. Thank you. Where are you? Where'd you go? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, so where do I attack? Can I just ride up this? Yes. This is unusual like unusual uh, battle in for for Genshin. <laughs> you did it. You got a hat to do, kid. You really impressed me. I take back what I said before our match. You gotta wait takes, Kajina. Youngsters like you, you'll forget. You'll forge your own. You'll forge your own miracles. I can't speak today. Oh, got the pillar. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't see that until now. Um, and it's Kachina for the win. We'll now head into a short break as our contestants prepare for the final run of competitions. I think I need to turn on the lights soon. It's really dark in here. You did it! Thanks for cheering, cheering me on, you two. You went great down there. You faced a lot of impressive competitors, but they never stood a chance. I don't think I did too shabby either. I've never gotten this many points before. You ready for the last night round, Kachina? Well, I need. I got permission to come see you before the last round starts. Based on your score, it looks like you'll make it to the Night Warden Wars if you win your next match. But, um, your final opponent, it's me. What? Well, I kind of expected it would be one of them. Oh no, what did I say? How uh, unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, I just found out myself. We're really close in the ranks, so... Only the winner gets to move forward. But I... I wanted to fight alongside you. I did too. But it is what it is. People with similar scores tend to get matched against each other. But we have to get pa just have to get past it. War is cruel and the Abyss certainly isn't going to go easy on us. Only Natland's strongest deserve to stand against them. So I'm going to give this battle my, battle my all, Kachina. And I hope you do the same. Yes. Oh my god, this is like making me want to rewatch Beyblade, weirdly. <laughs> Maybe I should. The hand the victory to your opponent is to take pity on them. But no one's asking for pity here, yeah? So you ready? Yeah, it's like... Ooh. This is like all that Beyblade is too. Yeah, it's so shown and anime. This is... It's so Beyblade, somehow. I'll do my best. I had a girl. I love this. I love sports anime. So this is basically just sports anime. So if one of you has to lose, who should we cheer for then? Both of them, of course. <laughs> you mean one of us is destined to win? It's something. It's something worth celebrating either way. I'll be happy no, happy no matter who wins. I know you feel the same way, Kachina. So don't overthink it. Let's just have ourselves a good match. Paimon, Luan, I'll see you after the match. Kachina, I'll see you on the field. Uh, I'm kind of loving it. Good luck. I've been training so long for this, and Muelani has helped so much. I'm going to show her that it didn't go to waste. Thanks for believing in me. I'll try believing in myself this time too. You can do it! Oh no, do we have to fight as you? Wait, who? How? Can I get healed too? It's so weird to see ourselves like this. To not be the characters. Uh, 
Nope. No healing, apparently. Let's do this. <laughs> Suddenly I'm just hearing battery low. I don't have Japanese the on. This match will take the final spot among the victors. I forgot to do that. For a long time contender and okay. first time finalist for the children of Echoes, Kajina! I should switch to Japanese indeed, but then I have to download more stuff. <laughs> of the springs a young prodigy and night warden wars veteran <laughs> this face-off between old friends promises to be an explosive showdown mm -hmm. may the best warrior win you've come so far still nervous oh, why does it have to be you still i'm glad in a way even if i lose i won't have any regrets Aww. come on Kachina, this is no time so to be cute. honest. I know you want this more than me. And it's about time you start sounding like it, okay? I love their relationship. I want to win. Huh? Well, honey, this one's mine. Yo, this is hype. This is really hard. I feel kind of bad for the shock. <laughs> you gotta go on the offensive, you can do it! Coming from above. That's hard. Oh, my God, that's cool. Why do I feel proud? And then she's just like, Are you okay? I mean, rip, let it rip. I'm so sorry. I went. I went too hard. Look. She's so sweet. She's just like, I won, but also, is my friend okay? <laughs> Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Let's fight an epic battle. I mean, if you want, I can start seeing the Beyblade opening, because... God knows I've listened to that way too much. And with that, the winners of the pilgrimage have been decided. Sing it, do it. Let's go, Beybladers. Let's rip it to the sky. <laughs> it's so annoying, because they had... Like, the Japanese obviously has all the, like, the different openings and stuff. The English decided, now we're not gonna do that, we're making our own. And then they made one opening song that they then also used as an ending song, and then they just never changed it. So I have, at the very least, heard that song 300 times. And that's assuming I've only watched the show once, which is not true. <laughs> I am so sick of that song. <laughs> it's just, oh my god. Let's go, baby. And they, they made songs for the show, but they never used them as openings. So I'm just like, why though? Put your hands together for our victors as we then welcome them to the stage.
Oh, but have you heard the 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 probably not why would you? But the Italian one, it's uh, Beyblade Boy Blade, which is just lean into the sexism right? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's Beyblade Boy Blade. Yeah. Boy Blade, yeah. To be fair. Ooh. Hello. Vampire. Vampirate? Yeah, um I obviously I don't know what the rest of the song says, but uh to be fair, they have way too few female characters. It's like maybe one per team and if even that. Um so it is very boy dominated. But, like, you don't need to make it that obvious that you're, that you're excluding people. Anyway, yes. <laughs> I still love Beyblade, but like, I can, I can, uh, I can talk about it to us too. Chaska, so pretty. She's very cool looking and I want her earring. It looks awesome. With her six consecutive wing. Chaska of the Flower Feather Clan. Ah, it's a flower feather. And right, she was a cowboy, not a vampire, but she does feel like it. Will I pull for Chaska? Maybe, but I'm also like, will I pull for the <laughs> the, <laughs> the Arkan? I don't know. I haven't decided on the two yet. We'll see when I see their personalities a bit more. Ah, Yippee! I know I've seen you in the the thing. And at least they're a bit, a bit more dark skinned, but still. She managed to turn the tides all by herself. Ian son of the collective of plenty. With an exclusive comeback, ten years in the making, Kayulani of the people of the springs. She's wearing out pension shades. Finally, a dark skinned Natlan PC, right? I'm like, at least she has slightly darker skin. I want an even more dark, but I might end up pulling for her, honestly. Just to be like, hey, make more of that. A seasoned and renowned warrior. Kibu... Ki, Kibangu of the Science of the Canopy. Hello there, Robin Hood. Last but not least, finally living up to her true potential, Kachina of the Children of Echoes. Where did his shirt go? He also isn't wearing a shirt, no, but I was more thinking of his hat. I was like, Robin Hood. Ooh, over here, Kachina! I, I made it. It's like a dream. This is no dream. Your strength is what got you here. We'll be going to war together. It's an honor to fight alongside you, Kachina. Oh, cute! No matter how many pilgrimage I witness, I'm always overwhelmed with pride in this moment. Pride for you, my brave warriors. You give me faith that our in innumerable sacrifices are not in vain, that the future of Natlan shall burn with the brilliance of a blazing fire. Brave warriors, the following is an order, and also a personal request. Go forth and crush the abyss. Seize victory and glory for Natlan. Like, she looks cool as heck, too. So it's like one of those two, I think. And maybe him, him, her, them, too? The little dark-skinned one? As you command. Uh, yeah, I don't think Mabuka is the Arkan either. Mali Mal Malika, yeah. <laughs> but I, I have had my suspicions for a while, because I'm like, that's too easy. It's not gonna be that. Uh, but yeah, she looks so cool, and I like her fire hat. As you command. As the crowd erupts in cheers, the pilgrimage draws to a close. <laughs> Paimon, there you are. I want to thank you for supporting Katina back there. She really has grown into a formidable competitor. She deserved that win. Not that it feels good to lose, but I'm happy for her. Uh, definitely bittersweet, though. She's so sweet. 
hey, wanna go for a walk? Katrina and the others will be busy fighting the bears, so why don't I show you around Nutlan for a while? Sure, what do you see, Luan? Uh, something on your mind? I'm a little worried about Kachira. This... This is her first time fighting in the Night and night ward, Warden Wars, right? Also, when I randomly stop like that, it's because I get a... Battery low in my ear. <laughs> and it's really, like... It's distracting, that's what it is. It's her first time fighting. Listen, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried, but she's got experience, powerful companions to, help, to take the lead. I'm sure they'll be fine. Glory always comes with a risk. If victory was assured, no one would take pride in it. She's not one to fall so easily. She bears the ancient name Thabiti. Brazilians, after all. We just need to hold the fort while she's gone. <laughs> you bought her! You bought your headphones and battery low when I said that? That's so funny. I guess I was convincing. Maybe I should do those kind of voiceover works. Battery low. Now stopping at this floor. <laughs> I need to be so close to the mic normally to, to like make good volume, but... Hello. I can't sit like this. <laughs> I need a microphone that can like poke forward a bit. But this looks like this. I gotta put it like, the, like it can be. Come to think of it, you've never visited my tribe, have you? Come on, I'll take you. The people of the springs live long alongside the koalas. <laughs> koalas? Is that it? No. Koho. Kohola. It's almost ko koala source. Your headphones don't just make a little sound. They don't say words. Mine say words. They're chatty. They're like power on, battery low, power off. <laughs> and I'm like, but why though? I guess it's good that they tell me when they're off, but still. Uh, our tribe is an ideal spot for some r and I'll take you to all the best spots. You'll love it. Both your jubbled ones? And our pods just make sounds. GBL? Is that pronounced? Jub <laughs> I don't actually know how to say it. Um, you love it. Looks like you beat me to it. Kimchi. You also got matcha toast engraved on the AirPods because they were free with the laptop. JBL. Yeah, like I've seen the brand. Uh, and it is like that. Great. Uh, they are a popular band. I, Matcha Toast f is the funniest. Is that the name of your laptop? Because that's... I like that. Heck yeah. Kimchi? Kimchi? Uh, I was planning to invite you to go visit the Scions of the can Canopy. Most of the adventurers that belong to the guild come from my tribe. So I figured you might be interested. Hey, first come, first served. It's news you lose, Kimchi. Kim you got matcha toast on the airport because of Tezuka? Wait, Tezuka likes matcha toast? This is this is new information for me. Yeah, yeah, you were first. Still, Luan, Paimon, feel free to stop by if you have time. You're always welcome. Thank you very much. We'll be there. Yeah. Thanks for inviting us. Alright, let's pack it up and head out. You had Conan that he likes matcha? And you call him Toast? Yeah, I call him Brick, so I think Toast is nicer. <laughs> um, yeah. He would- he does seem like a, the kind of person to like uh, matcha, though. I say that as someone who does like matcha, so... Home of the hot springs. Okay, we're going there. Sorry. I got distracted, but yes. Home of the hot springs. Heck yes. Uh, okay. We'll go to this one. 
It's a running joke. He's an, as expressive as a slice of toast. That is exactly why I call him a brick. Because <laughs> he, he's a brick wall. I like that we, we came from the same place. We came from the same place, but never, but ended up with different nouns. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna get you. Nope. I th you think Totsuka sounds better than Bricksuka? Yeah, no, I, I. I 100% agree on that. I just tend to call him the brick. Period. Not just. At least when I'm talking to uh, Eilery, I'm like, oh, the, br the brick. Ooh, I like the music. But yeah, if you're gonna combine it with the name, so much better. Signs of the canopy. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I really gotta go in this direction, don't I? You still have to Toast Suka as your Reddit username? Heck yeah. I don't have a Reddit. And like, account at all. I was like, maybe I should do some, some uh, uh, of those readings too. Who knows? <laughs> you don't use your Reddit. You forgot. There. Hello. Hi. What nice hair you have. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> I got excited. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Apparently. Um are we interrupting its meal time? It sure looks annoyed. Overly watchful yum has ordered. Do I really have to fight you? I don't really want to. Like I'll do I'll beat you very quickly, but I don't really wanna. Ah, it's something furry. Something furry is blocking your path. Energetic alpaca. The alpacas Wait, the alpaca is being a, like, conflict mediator right now. I love that. <laughs> so you're all friends then? Someone seems... Who seems in charge of watching the alpacas comes over and calms the yum yumka source. Who? Ah, there you are. Hello again, Robin Hood band. Hey, hey, calm yourselves, half baked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, whose name is half baked? Is it the, the dinosaur or is it the alpaca? Because I love it either way. That's why you've got that name. Making rash judgments like you always do. <laughs> it's the dinosaur. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Throat sound. Don't worry about him. He's just got too strong a sense of duty. It's all antsy when there's a strangers about. It's also thanks to that dedication that I've got an easy time over here taking care of these alpacas. Top tier name? I love it so much. Half-baked. Running in half-baked. Half-baked running. <laughs> I love that name. 
Oh god, it's so good. Anyway, what brings you people to my little spot? Just roaming about, you know, on adventures. <laughs> adventures, then. That said, I imagine half-baked are you as dangerous folks with the scary, scary auras. Um, oh, huh. I didn't know that Yum Kasaurus could do that. And here we were thinking the alpacas were about to get attacked. Guess that was all just a misunderstanding, huh? Aye, and a common one it is, too. I know my fella looks fierce, but he's pretty close to yon alpacas. What is your accent, my dear? Why, I'd even call them friends. Hmm? What's up, little guy? You want to be friends with him, too? Well, I guess... I guess so. But yeah, thinking about it, you usually just hang out with the two of us. Some animal friends. That would go, would do do him good, yes. It would be quite the adorable scene too, don't you think? A little tepetliosaur tepe surrounded by alpaca friends. Me, I could chow down on three bowls of blazed meat stew before I could, got bored of it. Still, that depends on whether my alpacas agree or not. Friendship's not to be forced and all. Wouldn't you say so, half-baked? No. It's alright, whatever happens, Iwachan still got us. Um, Paimon knows you're trying to be nice just in, th in case things don't work out, but there's no need to be this pessimistic from the get-go. Kids need more encouragement to grow up strong and healthy. That's right, Iwachan, you can do it. Paimon believes in you. Well, your tepetliosaurus got confidence coming out of its ears. Or I'm blind. I guess I'll head back and get some rest. Just holler if there's trouble. Wait, you know what? Might as well holler for half-baked instead. He's the alpaca expert here, after all. Just kidding. Alright, little fella, you got this. Good luck. This is n not what we're trying to do at the moment. Yes. Maybe I can do this. Enable. We'll we'll come back to the alpacas when we don't have the story to tell. This is definitely one that I want to come back to because yes. Alpacas. <laughs> oh look it's swimming. Hello, little ones. Shiny. There's a shiny over there. There are spray feather gills available nearby for collection. What are those? Jet set eddies. A vortex created by unique turbulence. Anything that falls within it will be hurled up high by the wind currents. Oh. Kohola source. <laughs> I apparently they're Kohola source. I thought they were what are they called? Uh yum, 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 yum. Rift dragons? No, Rift Hounds. First, but they they're not. Um, Kohola source and the people of the spring can use jet sets uh, eddies to make the ultimate super high leap. Spirit Waste. Okay, that's the same as we were at before. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, I almost got it. Nope. Okay, you know what? I'll come back to this. And then there's one... Like here, maybe? I don't want to navigate. Just let me put another. There. Nope. <laughs> yes. 
Let's go to these hot springs. Is it up or is it in the water? Uh -huh. Okay, we're doing this, and then I think I'm gonna head off because. Show me your move. I want to get to the new place, the new country or the new region, in here, and then. Let's hope you put up a good fight. My my headphones are dying. <laughs> oh look at these! They're like going in the air. What? Why? How? They're floating. Those are also flying. I wonder if they attack us if I get too close. I'm gonna try. Those look like... Like floaties. What happened? Spirit doors, a device made by the ancestors of the modern day people of Natlan using flogstone engravings to Im imitate the techniques of those whom, who made the spirit ways. Interact with it to create spirit ways or cause unstable ones to manifest. Hello, are you gonna attack me? Apparently, yes. No, I don't want to attack you back. It's a boat. So bright. We're finally here. So this is your home, Malani. I won't kind of wait to have a look around. They're like chilling on giant surfboards. Heck yeah. Oh, look at the capybara. Capybara. Capybara, capybara, capybara. Capybara. Ah, uh, see, what did I tell you? A dip in the hot springs after a battle is just the best. Oh, I want to go to a hot spring. Please. Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? <clears throat> Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? Wanna go to the golden dusk later? Now, this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. This is like a vacation paradise, I see. Oh, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? <clears throat> we try to treat every day like a holiday around here. We believe every day is worth celebrating. Now, let me show you around. Hmm. Where to start? So... Chi... Kui... Kaku... Records? I'm so sorry. Kolomche Plaza? <clears throat> there are so many options, but I recommend starting with the real highlights around here. The real ho highlights? The hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have a tons of health benefits. Go for a nice long soak and you're guaranteed to get a good night's sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, so nice. I wanna... Wait, you want us to bathe here? No, don't be shy. Come on, I'll, I'll take you to, the, you to get changed. I mean, everyone else seems to be bathing in their normal, normal clothes, so I don't think that's necessary. Walani. Huh? Oh, Auntie Atea. Oh, wait, we heard this name before. Oh, please, I've told you just Atea's fine. Don't look that old to you. Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Let me introduce you. This is Noam, and the small one next to him is Paimon. For once, we're not the ones saying it. They only just arrived in Nakhlan, so I'm taking them around to experience our customs. Hi there. Hello. Ah, I'm Mulani's neighbor, Atia. By the way, Mulani, I heard you lost to Kachina during the pilgrimage. Is it true? Yeah, I was this close to winning. Uh, definitely not the result I wanted, but still, not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. Anyway, it's all in the past. I'm gonna take this two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. 
Oh, wait, you'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure we can find something lying around in the shop. I'll go look. Are we actually getting a different outfit? Headphones, I know. Hold it right there, young lady. Have you forgotten the rule about bathing in the hot springs? Rule? Oh, wait, you mean... There are rules about bathing in hot springs? Yes, you need to shower properly first. That's right, Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they are allowed to access the natural ones. <laughs> That's kind of funny. A trial? It's not, it's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. A, true f a few travels have gotten scolded by the water in the past, so now we have an unwritten rule. All outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial hot springs first. Okay. But seriously, Aunt Atia, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. I know they can handle it. Famous last words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too sh careful. Besides, the environment's been unstable lately. Could be a sign that the abyss is about to attack. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, I was really not all that formidable, so careful is good. Exactly. There will be no excessive risk-taking on my watch. Well, Lani, take them to the artificial spring first. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial, artificial spring in a bit. And if I don't see you there, your days are off chopping, coping free meals. Copping three meals at my place are done. <laughs> relax, relax. Oh, by the way, Atia, how have you been feeling lately? Oh, that's a wound? That's a scar. Not a tattoo, because I was about to say those are some cool tattoos. Much better. How else would I have the energy, energy to keep an eye on all new rascals? Hey, <laughs> you over there. How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? Oh shoot, that weird lady's back again. Run! Stop right there. You need a certain talking to. She sure has a lot of energy. She's... Is she an old friend of yours? <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Back before I inherited my ancient name, she was one of Natlan's most renowned warriors. Famous for her love of hot springs. In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her, as her hot spring buddies. The attendees were all respected warriors like Liliulo, Liliulo, Hayulani, Vikama, oh, and Arkan. If Pyro lived here, she would take advantage of the hot springs too. It's just during battle she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyss monster. Yeah, okay, that's not great. The, doc the doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that she could never bathe in the hot springs again. Well, that's sad. Normally, hot springs are quite good for people with different skin conditions and stuff. Or, like, different injuries and stuff, because water is much easier to move through. And hot springs normally have, like, different uh, minerals and stuff. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Imm immersing herself in hot water could would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. Ooh. Oh no. No wonder she had so many scars. My one had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. She never talks about her injury. She worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience the, our tribe's natural wonders. Even though she can't enjoy them herself, I really respect her for that. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Aunt Atia gets there before us, we're gonna be in some real hot water. And I think hmm, that might be be it for today. I have gone for over two hours, and I have um, a long day ahead of me tomorrow. So I had a lot of fun, and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow evening. 
So I will see you then. Yes, yeah, sleepy time. You should also probably sleep, I would say. Anyway, thanks so much for today and please take care of yourselves and all of that stuff. Bye-bye.